So we're going to talk about vendor return process. So today's uh, discussion is about the vendor return process. And that is what we will be discussing and talking about. So when we look at the vendor return process, there are two possibilities. So we can do vendor return without delivery and we can do vendor return with delivery. So we can do both methods. So when we create a vendor delivery without delivery process, so in that case, um, we can create a return PO transaction code ME21N. We're going to create a uh, good moment sending over till back transaction code uh, MIGO. Moment I 161. We're going to create purchase uh, credit memo, transaction code Miro, and we're going to do a doc flow transaction code ME21N. Then we're going to do vendor return process with the delivery process, in which we're going to create a return purchase order, ME21N. We can create a return delivery, transaction code VL10B. We're going to do picking, post good issue, doc flow, and we're going to do credit. Uh, customer credit process because at the end of the day we have to give a credit and uh, credit memo processing to the supplier. So these are the two flavors and we're going to do both flavors or two process flows. So let's do the create uh, first process and we start with the creating purchase order. So we log in to SAP. We create purchase order and we 21 n We select a vendor, any regular standard vendor. We'll be fine. We enter the any material, any standard material will be fine. Quantity 10, whatever. And then the only difference which we have here is return peers. So there is indicator here. And this indicator return purchase order has to be updated. When we have this indicator on, then system is allowed to create a return purchase order. Okay. Now we create a condition PVXX. Hit enter. We enter the price, whatever it is. But in this PO and regular PO, only field which is different is this return indicator. Everything else is same. We set it. We save the purchase order and after saving purchase order, we make a note of this purchase order. And after making note of this purchase order, we go to Migo. Good. So we can do a good movement. We have to send the material back to the vendor. So we go to Migo. And uh, in the action, we select good receipt. In the reference, we select purchase order. We enter the view number. Hit enter. Now, important thing is the moment type is 161. So 161 is a standard SAP moment type for returning material to the vendor with reference to purchase order. There's a minus sign because material is going out. We can send our store location. Then uh, we hit item OK. We hit check. We got a green light. And we say. So we have sent the material back to the supply. So that is the transaction code. And there is a material document 600897. After that, we have to do invoice verification. We have to give a credit back to the customer. We have to reduce the liability. <clears throat> so transaction code Miro. So regular invoice is Miro, same transaction code. But here we have to select credit moment. We have to select credit memo here and uh, we go to document uh, and then we have a whatever. We enter the peer number, enter, and after that, we set, get enter, and set. That's it. Now, if I want to go back uh, and check our uh, doc flow. So if you go to purchase order, which we just created. So if you go to status, 
the ordered quantity 10 see the minus here delivered quantity 10 see the minus here this material bent out invoice quantity 10 minus then we go to item uh, details if you go to view history then there's an invoice receipt minus 10 pieces minus hundred dollars we reduce vendor's liability by hundred dollars there's a good receipt but material went out see this minus minus so because material went out so our stock value also reduces quantity also reduces that is why there is a minus 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 you will see the minus so that's uh, the process of returning the material without delivery in which we did a written po did a good moment credit memo now. now we go to the next flavor and that is to do with delivery process okay to do with the delivery process how do we do that so for that we go back again process start with the po me21n we enter the po number I will just select one of our PO and uh, from the past, now this one, I want to select different PO. So, okay. yeah, this is correct. The reason is this vendor, one, two, three, five. Okay. So, why this vendor? I will explain that also. So here, if you see, there's a vendor is one, two, three, five. Now there is some setting in this vendor which is important. Now there are few things which we need to know. One is the shipping tab here. In the shipping tab, there is a delivery document. So there is a RL. RL is the delivery document. Then there is a shipping point. Then there is a customer number. There is a customer number. And if you see here, there is also um, ship, uh, sales organization, distribution channel, and division. And uh, if you see that here, if you can see in the screen, and uh, that is the shipping tab. So if I take this off on the other side, so there's a thousand ten zero zero. Okay. These are the and the delivery document is RL. RL is a delivery document time when we are creating a delivery document. So we exit out and then we set. The document has been set. Now we go back and make a note of this document. So we make a note of this document. So this is a document, we make a note of it. Now with this document, this is our sales order number. We want to go back and create a delivery. Transaction code for creating delivery is real 10B. Real 10B is a transaction code for creating a delivery document with purchase order. Okay. That is what this delivery document is about. Then we go to real 10B, hit enter. We enter. Uh, Date, date uh, up to maximum number. We enter the peer number. We are selecting a specific PO we want, shipping point 1000. And then we hit execute. So our PO number, which is 45004507, that is already shown up here. So we can select this delivery and then we click on the create delivery background. So we click on this background. So now we are creating a delivery document with reference to purchase order. So we got a green light. We select that. 
then we go to log for document creation. This is log, and there is one document created. And we go to um, documents. This is a delivery document number. We say display it. This is the delivery doc. Okay. So this is a delivery document created. This is a ship to party. So vendor number is equals to ship to party. Then uh, if you go back uh, to minus sign here, you see the pencil, this chain sign. We can enter the pick quantity. And then we can hit post duration. So what we did, we did a good session. Return against purchase order has been saved. Okay. Now, if I want to see, go back to display document. If I want to see doc flow, so we have a purchase order, number, date, return, delivery, delivery document, number, completed, picking number, we have to pick the quantity before we ship the product to the vendor, so pick number, date, completed, return, this is a goods issue. So material has been shipped up. If I double click on the goods issue, and um, or if we go back and we say display document, this is the model document. Movement type is again 61. So 161 movement type is constant, whether we are using delivery or whether we are not using delivery. On both sides, there is a 161 sign. Now, after that, we go to the next step, which is to give a credit back to the, so we go back and then we, Go to Miro transaction. So we go to Miro. We enter the document date. We enter the amount. We enter the quantity. Enter the PO. Hit enter. Minus sign. And we set. Document as a fault. Okay. This is this. Tax code is also exist. Okay. So we go to tax. Remove it. And save it. Save it. So document number 16 is in Now we again go back to the delivery document and we can see what really happened. So we go to PO. This was the PO number. And uh, if you go to PO history, this is a delivery document number. This is a delivery note got created on this date. Invoice document number got created on this date. Invoice receipt got created on this date. And then um, we ordered this quantity delivered. This quantity is still to be delivered. Zero invoiced. Minus. So they are all minus minus. Okay. So that is what um, the end to end cycle with the deliveries. Now we need to see something that in this vendor, there is an important part is this shipping tab. Okay. So if you go back to the shipping tab, one of the which system does it create a customer number. So for this vendor number, there is a customer number. Now, how this customer number get created? So, if you go to this uh, vendor master, if you go to vendor, in the vendor, and if you go to purchasing tab, so in the purchasing tab, we have this return indicator, return vendor indicator. If this indicator is on, then system automatically create a vendor number one two three four the vendor get automatically created get assigned to it there is some configuration also for shipping point which has to be done but that is what end to end cycle is about okay so with that everyone and i really appreciate you joining the session thank you